This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest three-minute forecast and temperatures out there this morning. We're not nearly as warm as yesterday. A lot of us are only in the mid to upper 40s, closer to 50 in Dallas as of right now. Temperatures by lunchtime will get into the mid to upper 60s and closer to 70 out to the west. Eventually by this afternoon, many of us will warm up well into the 70s, some areas closer to 80 like Wichita Falls as well as Abilene. So it will be a beautiful day out there. Make sure you get outdoors. Now on the negative side of that, we will see a potential for some severe storms tomorrow. This does include the DFW metroplex at least a marginal risk of severe weather is in effect currently for dfw and as well as out in eastern texas there's a slight risk and that does include tyler as well as shreveport and that will be for the potential for some large hail and maybe some damaging wind gusts out of a few thunderstorms tomorrow evening and over to the overnight hours let's take a look at the future radar so thursday we're going to stay dry through most of the day eventually by about five to six o'clock a couple of isolated showers maybe a storm could mix in there especially back out to the northwest however a strong cap will be in place so not there won't be any significant weather most likely until at least 7 to 8 o'clock in the evening. Eventually by about 9, 10 o'clock, you can start to see these showers and storms start to develop, especially along and just east of I-35, pretty similar to what we saw yesterday, or the day before, excuse me, on Monday. However, it's not going to bring the same threats. We're really only just looking at maybe some large hail. It should be remain pretty isolated. It's also going to be a more isolated event overall, so we're not going to see this being a widespread event like what we saw the other day. Going closer to the overnight hours, closer to about 11 and 12 o'clock, these storms eventually move out to our east, and we should dry out for the overnight hours into Friday, and the weekend looks fairly dry as well. We also have a chance for severe weather on Monday, and this is a slight risk that has already been issued by the National Weather Service. It includes almost all of southeastern Texas, and it also includes good portion of DFW, so this will be something to watch for as well. It looks like we might see a line of storms that could bring some damaging wind gusts, and that could be a widespread event as well. Going to the afternoon hours Monday, you can see a few showers and storms back out to our west. That eventually strengthens and it gets closer to I-35, eventually turning into a line of storms during the evening hours Monday, and this will eventually move through the DFW Metroplex, potentially even bringing a bit of a flooding threat as well, depending on how much rain we see, so that will definitely be something to watch for as well. Eventually, we dry out heading into Tuesday, and we'll see a pretty nice rest of that work week. Obviously, it's still far out but we will definitely see a nice week overall besides monday temperatures heading into thursday morning will be in the 50s so it'll be pretty nice it'll be mild out there maybe just a fleece jacket for the morning but the afternoon looks fantastic and see so going four o'clock tomorrow afternoon we'll all be in the 70s back out to the west some areas in the low to mid 80s so it should be a fantastic day ahead here's your latest north texas weather center seven day forecast you can see over the next several days heading into the weekend it will be fantastic beyond the severe weather thursday heading into the Early next week, again, we might see some showers and storms. Temperatures, though, remain fairly nice spring-like in the upper 60s and lower 70s. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting, Birdies Pro Turf, and THD Vehicle Doorstep.